I don't I don't know. The market may be a late setup. This this I like the spy, but it may not set up quickly. It may set up late, so I don't think we want to day trade that. Although I can watch it. And Gyro's idea is snap, which <coughs> could have one quick move. Can't break 16. And again, this has to set up right. I don't know if it's going to, but I guess it's worth watching. Other than that, I don't like any of the downs. Um, there's very little to be looking at. I don't like ILMN. Um, don't like Facebook. Uh, I, I literally, there was no earnings this morning. There's some things gapping on news or related stuff. We'll watch them. But um, I'm not overly anxious to do anything today based on the fact that we don't have a lot to look at. I will watch Snap to see if it sets up. No promises here. <laughs> and the market's going to set up, but it may not set up till like 11 o'clock. So that's the problem. Uh, v, I will look at, I'll look at anything, got two minutes, <coughs> but I pretty much looked at everything at least once, if not three times. No, I mean, this isn't, this is a nice swing trade. These banks are moving higher, MasterCard, Visa, I don't like this as a day trade, again, Probably moves higher today, but no real day trade set up. Remember, we day trade. We have to make money. We have to get in. We have to get out. We have to get in. We have to get out. We only have six and a half hours to do that. Although it sounds like a long time, it becomes really long when it doesn't set up in the morning. It becomes annoying, actually, is what it becomes when it doesn't set up quick. So, <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, MCD. Let's just watch Snap. Sets up, we'll do it. But it's going to be a fast trade for me, that's for sure. All right, good luck, everyone. And again, if you're here for the open house, just watch and observe. Earning season starts next week, and I am more than ready. has to go pretty quick and like I said can't break 16 so let's see okay stop and this is going to be 1590 tight don't have the entry yet. This might we might we we might get this. Stop's gonna be fifteen ninety, and I don't have the entry yet. Just wait. Didn't call any entries yet at all. No one should be in anything. This break 16, it's completely off, so. <clears throat> yeah, it's trying. 16 exactly, interesting. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Switching gears for looking at the spies. Snap is off. Oh, good read on that. All right, let's just see here. Uh, we'll talk about Amazon later, Robert. 
Follow your money management, whatever you do. Got to see if we can get something here this morning, which I don't know, but this is the only other thing I liked. Okay, this is going to be a wide stop. 299.40. If we do it, I don't have the entry yet. 299.40 spy long. I don't have the entry. That's the stop. And I don't know if we're going to get this or not but I'm gonna give it a chance. Snap is off. Nobody should be leaning on their keyboard. Let's do 90 by 40, and that's still a really good entry. If in fact it even hits, which again, I don't know if it's going to, because Snap didn't. 90 by 40 long the spy and again this doesn't mean this isn't going to rally today if this doesn't hit here it just means we won't be day trading it if we don't do anything today i'll go over the options but let's just see here 90 by 40 spy long We may not be getting this. We may not be getting anything today. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. But I'm definitely, if I do anything at all, I'm going to be making money. 90 by 40 is still on. sitting here waiting <laughs> if the numbers change i'll let you know if this is off i'll let you know it's still valid if it does anything here and we're still watching it snaps done let's see what this did nope that definitely was not a short interesting and this is a waste of time wow all right we're watching the spy to see if it sets up long it may or it may not might be giving different numbers here. If that's the case, I'll let you know. As of now, we're waiting. This time of the day is still early. Everything looks fine. And we will see exactly what we get here. <coughs> Don't like this under 50. <coughs> At least for the morning. Patience is a virtue. Lily was down again today. All right, spy. Still watching. Let's look at Lily. 
Wow, this fell again today. Didn't even, had no volume in the pre-market, but look at this lily. We did look at this late yesterday. This was definitely lower. Didn't, I mean, theoretically it got, but no volume, so we wouldn't have seen it. I hear it is now. Wow, interesting. Big move out of the gate for that. It's a bummer. <laughs> okay, watching the market. So 90 still valid if this in fact hits here, and I'll give this a little bit more time. 90 by 40, which is a great entry if in fact this hits. I'm still not off this, but under 50 I will be. If you end up deciding to do this, if this does hit though, this is pretty much kind of like a, an all day play though, just letting you know the way that this is, is setting up here now. I don't, I don't really think this is going to be a fast trade. So if you decide to do this, you could be in it all day to get any kind of risk to reward, just letting you know. <laughs> Okay, 90 by 40, mark it long. Here, you can do it right now. Get in it. Here's the spy. It's going. But this is really an all-day play unless we kind of scalp it. And I don't know what kind of move it's going to have. This is it. 40 is a stop. Here it goes. Here. This is good. Be in it if you want, people. The calls in the market are working. We'll, we'll go over that later if we have time. Here, let the market hit up. Target 302 in the spy. For today, at least. Uh, let's just look at everything else here. Okay. All right. Um, Robert wants to go over Amazon. Any other questions before we do that? You got to be in the market long. Here it goes. Here, here it goes. Oh, that was a good entry. In fact, let's look at Snap again, but I don't think that's going anywhere. Worthless. Okay. Um, Robert wants to go over the Amazon option. Anybody else have any other questions? Doesn't look like it. Um, here's the targets for this. I'll just write it in the room quick. And these are just the day trade targets, actually. Well, 300 was a target, which I got to, but I'm going to write it anyways. There. Um, who's doing what? We'll go over our Amazon for Robert. Uh, yeah, this was profitable yesterday. You could have gotten out. I still think it has more move in it. The option chain didn't have the mojo that I discussed yesterday in the room in the morning that I wanted to see in it, but it was definitely profitable. And you definitely could have gotten out if you wanted to. And I'm never going to fault anybody for getting out of a stock or any trade at all when you're up. Um, this did get to the first target. It did get to the second target. It went to 220. It went to 225. I think it even went to 230. Yeah, it did. So, I mean, you definitely could have got out of this yesterday. But because I called it so far out, and if you did it, you paid for that, 
I mean, then you kind of had to decide if you were going to take it and hold it out when you took it. Otherwise, you could have done Friday expiration, paid less, and got out yesterday. So, I mean, you know, if you, if you did this for the expiration date for next Friday, then I think it makes sense to hold it. Otherwise, you could have done this Friday, and you could have paid less. So, but you know, if you did next Friday and you got out yesterday, that was fine. Either way, I say follow whatever your money management rules are. I like this chart, this is gonna make a new high. It's just a question of when, but it's, it's going too soon. Um, hey Eddie, how are you? So anyways, that's, that's Amazon. I really don't have much to say about it. I don't have a, I don't have a problem with it. I don't think it, the fact that it closed red yesterday means absolutely nothing to me. So again, if you did this buy long, it's pretty much an all day trade. That's what I said, um, to get, to get the move. So if you can't watch your trade all day, I'm not leaving room open all day, but if you can't watch your trade, then you really can't do this. If you're in some of the longs for the overnights for the options, then you pretty much should be watching some things today anyways to see what kind of moves that they have. We'll quickly go over BYND. This had a nice move yesterday. You could have gotten out of half and held the rest for the time I called this, or you could still be in it. Again, goes back to the same philosophy where um, if you're going to do something to get out quick, then you could have done the expiration date for today. If you're going to get out of it yesterday instead of paying up. But this, every time I call this, really, everybody on the options letter should do it. The, the, the way that this option chain moves, it's, I've really never seen anything like it, quite frankly. <laughs> I've got to, I mean, I've said that before and I'll say it again. I mean, you could have doubled your money in this yesterday. <laughs> it's just, I mean, the way that this moves, I just, I just said, Carl, I just explained it. I just talked about it right now. Did you hear what I said? But if you were into booking profits, then you absolutely should have got out of this yesterday, regardless of the expiration date. Because BA did not work. Gave it a chance, didn't give it, didn't give it much chance though. Sent that email out yesterday. So I gave it a chance. And actually in the morning at one point it looked good yesterday. But if you feel the need to book profits, this is this is too late here. You wouldn't be exiting this here. So you would have had to exit it yesterday if you wanted to flip it around and make 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 double your money or 80% whatever it was it w this was a good move yesterday I almost wasn't gonna do it and then I said wait a minute now this is this is good but I called it out so far um, but just because I call something out far doesn't mean you don't it doesn't mean you have to hold it doesn't mean that at all and if you need to be booking money then book it And Disney just looks good. And Disney's just, Disney looks great. So some of you, some of you have some nice positions in this for the ones I called far out that are just, I mean, they're just going higher every second that they're breathing almost, even the red days, like they don't go anywhere down really. <coughs> Zen Trader, what are you up in the Disney now? Okay, let's pay attention here to this buy. So very light week, no losing trades. So let's continue that here with this spy move. 6,600, very good. This gets anywhere if this gets anywhere to 350 ish for the day trade maybe i'll just get out of this here this morning just make some money call it a morning 
I can get there fast. Any questions from anyone about anything? Any questions from traders? Any questions for people here in the open house? Again, light week, but solid, uh, which is good. It's very, very good. So we got up to 300, we did not get over it yet. <clears throat> Deck, let's see what's out Monday. I'm gonna look what's out Monday. No one has any questions? What is today's date? 12th. <sighs> Labor Secretary Alex Acosta will resign. Okay, Monday morning we have Citigroup. Oh. So we do have a good one to watch on Monday morning. And then Goldman's Tuesday morning, the banks are next week. So earnings season starts next week, but we do have something for Monday. Here, I'll look at Citigroup right now. Yay. Everyone's quiet. Anything on your mind, Gyro? Are you there? So we'll be watching City on Monday. Well, for sure the market will follow through higher in SPY if the banks report well. I don't know if they do. I don't know if they do, but for sure the market's higher next week if the banks report well, at least the major ones. Your mind is empty? <laughs> Sorry to hear that. All right, here we go. We're trying to get over 300. We're gonna do it, it looks like any second. Any second at all. And those of you that didn't go long in the market options, you can still you can still do them. It's not too late. It's not too late. Here we go. If you're doing futures, you're doing futures. I like stocks. They have big moves. They're more fun, more exciting. Much more passion for stocks. If I did futures, I'd be bored. Two ninety nine ninety nine. This has got to get over three hundred. Just got to do it. So this will probably have a big move over 300 because it's taking so long. Does anyone want to go over anything? Everyone's so quiet. <coughs> I 
Been trading since 1979. I don't know what you're doing here then. If you're making money in the markets, it's 1979. What are you doing here? Rinks. If you've been making money in the market for 40 some years, I don't know what you're doing here. Let's see if um, there's any econ out next week that's significant. Looks like the big day next week is Tuesday, for sure. Pre-market. It's really Tuesday. Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday morning, Thursday morning, the big uh, days pre-market to be watching for stuff. Um, you're not going to learn anything really unless you do my class, Reitz. If you're making money in the market for 40 years, you don't need my class, so that's why I was asking why you were here. But I, you know, you couldn't learn what I know in, in an hour here anyways. I teach it in a 16-hour class. But nice read here in the market. Nice read on Snap, or we would have been snop, stopped out if we had gone long it. Shouldn't have broken that level at 16. Wasn't crazy about it, but it was worth watching. Very low volume and everything right now because pretty much things aren't moving that much. And remember, it's summer. Some people are still off for the July 4th holiday. Some people took this week from last week. Long week, long holiday. Because last Thursday was July 4th. So you will have this. You will have these periods here where... It's slow and we're in that right now and that's why I'm pretty much getting geared up for next week. But the banks will move the market next week. The banks will move, we may be playing them, I don't know how. Really trying to see what we can get going here for this month. We got two more weeks left in July. But I suspect July and August will be busy from here on out starting Monday. DDD. Um, it's not much wheat. Oh, you know what? I wanted to look at our friend Baidu. This is not going anywhere up, but it's not really going anywhere down. Wow, look at that. Unbelievable. Almost two months. Look at the range it's traded in. And that was a bummer that that... And there were so many trades in that. I don't. I forget if it was the third, fourth, fifth one, or whatever the one was. It didn't work out. This, that's a bummer. Okay, who's in the market with me? <coughs> Again, this could be an all-day trade. We'll. I'll keep the room open for another fifteen minutes or so. But we may have to wait until lunch for a move. I don't know if all of you are in it or not, but I think the market does at some point today plow over the high over 300 and just go up straight like a rocket I still have a bias that the market at one point is going to have a gap down and it's going to be based on something with China but who's to say when now so we're you know it, if we see it we'll play it on the day as a day trade but at this point now trying to predict when that's going to happen is pointless because those negotiations could go on for another six months another two years so I still think the market has another move down at one point that could look disastrous, similar to last December, but not won't break the trend. But who knows when that'll be at this point. Yeah, if you can't do an all-day trade, then that's fine, Carl. I don't even have any topics to talk about, to lecture about here. Hmm. What topics can I come up with? Um, both at the moment, REITs, we do, the room is for the day trades, the options letter is for the options, and there are options on the market, calls on yes. So, the room, though, is focused on day trading. The options letter is a separate subscription. 
I've been feeling better, but I'm still not 100%. Hopefully, I'll be 100% by Monday. Hopefully, I'll be 100% by Monday, not talking, you know, over the weekend, and then also being able to uh, rest. Need to be 100% for earning season. Need to be 100% for the class, which is why I moved it. <coughs> We're in a snail. Gosh, I kind of wish we had done the diamonds here today because we would have been out and on with our day already. Um, at least to capture something in here. 40, 50 cents, we would have gotten them sure. We picked the snail. Although it still looks good. All right, nobody has any questions, I guess. I'm gonna turn the mic off for a few minutes because I don't have anything to say. We'll sit here and wait and, wait and watch. If you're in it, stop again, it's 299.40. I'll write it in the room. I'll come back on when I have something to say. <laughs> 